What is going on, everybody? You're McLaren Speech Hub, world champion, coming at you. We're, we're continuing with the law. This time, we're taking on Black and trying to kind of close the gap there, exploit some of the decks that, uh, again, if at your locals against your friends, if they're playing mostly like uh, Sakazuki, Moria, Perona, the Black decks, cost removal. This is what this kind of build is centered around. And also taking some stuff from our previous one with the, the anti-yellow, with the blockers, and kind of moving forward, progressing a little bit. So I'll break it down. The reason why this deck is pretty effective against black is because of Fire Fist. So the reason I think, uh, at least for now, being able to have two Fire Fist is pretty prime. Because if you're playing against a lot of uh, black decks, Sakazuki, Moria, and they're dropping the eight cost Moria into Rebecca. It'd be very, very, it's very uh, annoying combo. And with that, they could be flooding out the board with like four characters technically. So the reason why I have two in here is if they hit that combo into the Rebecca is Fire Fist allows you to pop Rebecca and then still give something minus 4,000. So you can still remove two cards and keep you in the game. And that's why I think Fire Fist is pretty important is to be able to keep you in those matchups a little bit longer if they hit that chain because again that chain's pretty rough and annoying and also too depending on like what they hit being able to again just delete two things is pretty good and just kind of in any matchup with the that's pretty much the only reason this card's in here and a little bit bailout i have the two sanjis in here uh you could swap this out for otama if you would prefer that the reason i just have the two sanjis is is because with the addition of the two fire fist we have uh, all our power reducing, so we have law. Uh, for me, 12 seem, f feels pretty good, but if you're more comfortable with more, you could totally drop this for Otama, or just play around with uh, Kamazo a little bit too. You could drop Kamazo to three and like buff this up one if you want as well. So yeah, don't be afraid to play around with ratios. Again, try to just find what feels good to you. But the reason why I have four Kamazo is because in those matchups with the the cost removal decks they have the annoying searchers so sakazuki now has the tashigi one cost and the brand new two cost and if they're able to flood out a bunch of those then they can combo with hound blaze and attack us multiple times so the reason why i have kamazo is to delete those uh same kind of reasoning against the like perona as well at perona depending on if they if they're running a search at all uh, being able to delete the the search is pretty nice and also he's 2k so just giving yourself the added defense is can be pretty massive in certain matchups besides that the other reason why uh, we have two queens queen pretty helpful because uh, five cost 6k so queen again in both matchups against yellow and against black can be pretty large is being at five cost makes it a little bit more tricky unless they I mean they have ice age so they could just delete you with ice age but if they don't they have at least have to commit a couple uh things to get rid of queen and then obviously we still have kid but some uh things you can swap around because i know queen is i think still crazy expensive so if you don't want to commit, commit like commit to queen at all uh blocker law i feel like you put in because again blocker law works for the on play abilities anything with on play abilities uh against if you're again if you're playing against a lot of the cost removal decks is pretty strong and then i have three yanji in here so kind of the same premise uh yanji i kind of like in the matchups because uh you're not going to really be using yanji as a blocker we're using him as a 6k attacker and i feel like he can be pretty strong against the cost removal decks because uh, they don't have too much defense and if with him at default 6k that means you can tack with them just uh, like on face and if they have borsalino or sabo up again you don't have to commit any don but then vice versa if they don't just one don you attacking them for seven and that means they're either taking the hit or they have to get rid of minimum two cards to block out so i feel like yanji in those matchups pretty strong and uh yeah besides that though so what I've been playing around with a little bit again adjust the numbers and stuff to your liking I think you just gotta two fire fist seems pretty good to me like uh, just you pretty much just need the one to save it for that instance if it happens because uh, without that everything else kind of flows together and it works because again everything pretty much works through uh, Reiju as well and she just fixes everything you only get one and bring yourself back but yeah it's kind of the uh, overall little breakdown we got here. Again, if you don't have Queen, you can swap it out 
I feel like blocker law is probably the best option. Uh, just because, again, being able to delete two cards from your opponent's hand, especially if you're able to play the luck lottery, uh, deleting like great eruptions or like hound blazes or something, like stuff they can't bring back could be massive. So if you want to put in blocker law, if you don't have queen, I think it still works. It's a little, again, going to be the four cost for you, but it'll still work out. Alrighty, we got some Sakazuki action here, so we'll see how this goes. We got a we got double max, we got an Ain, we got a Law, so we'll see. Sakazuki is just like, I don't know, Sakazuki so tough right now because of the uh, their all their ability, all their drawing abilities are is nuts. Not gonna lie, like straight up them being able to do like their leader ability drawing. And then they have, uh, now they have a one cost search. They have a two cost search. It's so, uh, it's so nuts <laughs> that, uh, they have this. So the trash and Usopp. Okay. Interesting. They got the, the Usopp tech in here. And this is like the best outcome. If you're playing Sakazuki, that means they're not dropping the, uh, the searches. And those are the things we love to see right there. Cause now I can save law. Just in case they had any. Oh, we get the boys. All right, so we get our most optimal turn two. At least I think so. Being able to drop Ain and then into the boys is massive. We just don't have Kid, which is like the only problem right here. So we'll see how things transpire. But yeah, interesting. I wonder if they have a, like more Usops then if they trash that one. Because that is, I mean, I feel like an interesting little thing to put in for uh the matchup against like other removal decks because again a rush is a weakness to uh like in the mirror like being a rush against Sakazugi or against law perona uh moria any of the removal decks rush is a big weakness too so that's kind of interesting but we'll see what they got here they have this so they only can remove one if they can they trash a hina all right so there's the, so they just got the search they got the hound blaze so we'll see if they uh, hound blaze one of uh, these up out of here but as of right now kind of okay with how things are going just because uh, haven't had to use any of our removal Tashiki is in range all right so they dropped the two there we know hound blaze is coming so yeah there's that and then they're attacking us we'll take that we get another Ain. all right cool and then they got another Tashigi. All right. So they got uh, two back-to-back -back here. Kuzan. All right, Kuzan's no counter, so that's decent. All right, we have Queen. Hmm. I may drop Queen here and get some more cards because then I can play... Uh, I just still bring in Ain. Okay, let's kill Scoop one of them. So we'll see how that goes. That leaves me here. So let me attack... Uh, we'll attack five on five. All right, so they block that. We'll do this. Turn one. Select one card to trash. Um, what do I don't need right now? I guess we'll get rid of this Ain, just because we have uh, Beppo here, and he's a little bit better, and he's a target that they'll definitely go for. So they block that. All right, so we'll go one, two, three. Get rid of that. We'll bring in Beppo, and we'll go from there. So see what uh, we know they have a Kuzan playing defense here again if you're able to go second against them you can stop her from dropping the uh, eight cost uh, Moria on uh, turn four so it's just kind of a preference thing but we'll see I have the 2k counter here that's the only thing we're lacking right now is counter we have the removal so I can even if they drop next turn we have this we can get rid of literally anything that they bring in so we'll see what they do so they trash the Kuzan. Um, I'll just do this. If they're, if they're gonna attack five and five and then put a cost on this, I can just block right now then. Again, I feel like in the, this matchup, your blockers, you just definitely use them because they're probably gonna get removed. Oh, okay, interesting. So I have five. So we could get rid of this guy if we want to. Hmm. How do we go about this? Kamazo. We have this and this. 
because I could drop this to get him down and then one to get him down the rest of the way. Alright, so let's just uh, tee off on them and uh, fly around. So we have the 2 2k, so I'm going to play a bit aggressive here. Alright, attack again. So we get one there. Alrighty, so we'll do this here. And then we'll throw this on him as well. We'll go one, two, three, get rid of that, bring in Ain. And then cuz uh probably get removed anyways. I'm attacking six on five. Get him sack a 2k here. Or uh alright, there we go. The reason why I also attack that to be super aggressive is I feel like blockers, given their chance, are going to get removed. And we put them in a weird spot. If they drop the 8 cost uh, Moria, we can block with the 2Ks here. So that is uh, my reasoning behind that. Because all they could bring in, if they do, from what it looks like, is... I don't think they have KO. Yeah, unless they, ha they don't have a Robert. So they would only be able to chain it into like, the Borsalino. Yeah. So they're doing Rebecca... Rebecca Hina. Okay, do they have the Robert in the trash? So yeah, that's pretty much why I did uh, what I did there. But if they drop Robert for four, we can block pretty much anything else they do. So we're still kind of chilling there. So we'll see. I could potentially just go for the game next turn. I don't know though. We'll see. Is, uh, well, unless they have a great eruption would be the other thing. They could uh, drop down onto another one. And then drop Robert to get rid of two. If they did that, they would change things a little bit. Okay, cool. So they're attacking. So they have four, so that has to be Robert. So we can block... Uh, they're attacking me? Um... Let's block that. Interesting. But, I mean, I, I guess... Oh, okay. So, they got Hound Blaze. Alright, they're attacking me 7 on 5. With Tashiki. Okay. Interesting. Like, uh, very, very interesting there. Um, how do I go about this? Because I could... I have one. I could wipe their entire board right here. Like straight up. I gotta drop this onto here. Then we scoop this out, bring in the boys to get us there. I have the 2k and a 1. And this. And then they only have three cards in hand. They don't have. Yeah, they don't have anything to bring back there. Um. That may be the play. So let me throw this on here. Let's do that. We'll just kind of... Because I have the 2k and a 1. Let's try to go for some uh, hand starvation a little bit. It's only uh, because we know if they drop the... Like the 8 cost Moria, they can't really do anything. So then I'll tag 5 on 2 here. Alrighty. Um, how do I go about this? Well, I'll just scoop it up anyway, so we'll go one, two, three, get rid of that, bring in the boys, and then we'll attack them twice here. Put them in a tough spot, a very tough position. So we get them down to one as well, and then since it, unless I have another Usopp, <laughs> like, uh, I mean, that'd be the only thing. Alright, they drop brand new, and so that leaves them at eight. They grab the Great Eruption, so if they play Great Eruption, then they can't play uh, the A cost. So that'd be pretty solid. All right, cool. So they can't play that. They drop uh, him down. Again, they gotta have one, so if they don't play a blocker, we're also chilling. But even if they play a blocker, we have this. Okay, another Great Eruption. So then they're gonna attack with something here. Okay. I don't know what they're looking for. Hound Blaze, maybe? Oh, Murakomo. Oh, man, that card's so annoying. Alright, well, I mean, we're still okay. Because, again, we're going to be able to do our patented Zoro Barrage the next turn. So, we'll see how to manage things here. 
These were the four. All right, so yeah, they're attack. We're gonna make a, the play to block whatever they attack. Oh, they're attacking me? Okay, I mean, that's a, all right. <laughs> I mean, that makes them happy, I guess. Doesn't really change too much stuff here, so we will do, let's do just a barrage of sixes. So we get that. All right, attack him again. So we get them down to the one there. Um. Well, actually, no. I don't even need to bring in Zora. We just win. So yeah, because they can't block out of uh, this mathematically. And yeah, we got them. So yeah, we'll take that. Good little back and forth there. Obviously, uh, I feel like if you pl again being able to play the board, especially. Uh, the def different levels to the game is, I feel like, trying to play against your opponent's hand versus just attacking their life, because, I don't know, they were playing kind of frantic there at the end, just attacking me and not even going for characters to at least keep keep us honest and having to c block out, because that last turn, attacking 7 out of 5, like, you're, put your opponent in a tough spot, like, obviously, yeah, we could have, we would have blocked out of it, but at the time, we would have been, uh, we only had 4 cards, so I feel like, I don't know, very suspect kind of ending. I don't think, because uh, I, I mean, it probably wouldn't have, it wouldn't have mattered too much there, just with the, with that, the 2K, a one and a one. It would have at least been a, a little bit closer. I mean, not if we didn't have the 2K, like if we only, with the four cards, like if I only had a one and a one, they would have got rid of another, they would have got two and this, and that would have only left us with the three. And then we still probably wouldn't find because of Zora, but still, I think uh, in your games, I know, I don't know, it's kind of like the uh, sort of the balance because sometimes you just want to go for it. Like the previous turn, we could have went for the game versus clearing their field, but I like uh, depending on what your opponent's hand size is, playing the field to pretty much wipe it, and then if, especially if after their hand size is like low. It's pretty much just setting him up for the next turn to kind of go for the game because uh, we pretty much put him in the spot, but also to being able to pay attention to uh, to everything there. Luckily, no uh, no Roberts till the end. It looks like they they trashed one when they were like freaking out trying to get counter, but uh, we didn't have to worry about anything in, any Roberts in the beginning. So then they couldn't use uh, Moria here to bring Robert back and KO anything. Like if they would have dropped. Keeping the max for the, the end game, if they would have dropped uh, uh, the eight cost, all they could have brought in was the Borsley to blocker, and we would have eaten that guy right up out of there, and then been able to just attack them directly and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, going up in Sakazuki, I feel like it, sort of like a preference thing. Uh, I've still, I think going for me going second seems to be a little bit better, but. It is tough now, just because again they have a one cost. They have the one cost search, the one cost the Tashigi search now, and the two cost brand new search. But it's still, I mean, it's definitely tougher. But the game plan is still the same. You have to put out two bodies a turn, and we just kind of go back and forth. And you just gotta hope you get that. Again, I feel like that one turn where they can't remove your characters, and you're good. You know, like if you're able to get one of those, you should be good. The problem is they just have so much stuff now to make sure you don't get that because they can search for, like they have double searches. So brand new and Toshigi, they can search for Hound Blaze, which is Navy, and they can search for Great Eruption. So then being able to have now eight search cards to look for those on top of their leader ability is crazy. Like uh, it's, it's just makes them so, so strong with uh, being able to find what they need. but. Overall, it's still kind of the same uh, idea, though. Like, if they would have played Robert in the beginning, bottom deck Robert, because uh, that way they can't bring him back. So that's kind of your biggest thing. You can again, still getting rid of uh, Rob is the the crucial thing whenever you're playing Sakazuki. Alrighty, we got uh, some more Moria action here. We'll see how this goes. We got a. Uh, we need some ramp, is what we need here, to be able to kind of bring things uh, together. 
Um, how do I go? Nah, we'll just do the 8K. Make sure we pop them down one right here. Or they're okay. <laughs> they're going for it. So I guess they're gonna bring Corona in. And so they're gonna attack her seven and then bring in Perona. Interesting. But yeah, it is what it's fine. So just sack that. And then okay, we got Ain, which actually is pretty large. So yeah, I can bottom deck that. Because luckily they lost alright, cool. They lost Rob and a great eruption on uh, the play there. Which is very grand for us, so I can attack them six and five. And with them going for the overcommit with the the defense on that first one, get rid of that. We bring in Ain there, get us back to the three. And they lost a great eruption, so we'll see. They don't see if they have Absalom or not, I guess. Be the only that's the the only tough thing about them is when they get the Absalom, they'll, they can, uh, again, they only have to rest the two. So they can trash Absalom and then they have the four to be able to attack for, for nine. That's like the, that's the hard part when you're playing against uh, Moria is just with the, the high leader attacks. So yeah, that's what they're doing. They're, uh, they're bringing somebody, they're bringing in another Perona. So select a card to trash. Um, that's some trash in this, but. Okay, we get another Ain. Okay, <laughs> we're just doing the same thing, so we'll pepper him down with five Ks, and then I'll end with a six, and we'll just do the same. Literally, the, we're doing the same turn again. So they block that, all right, and then attack him again, six and five. So there's the Absalom. So they're okay, crazy there. Um, what do I get rid of? I guess we'll get rid of Ain, and then we'll do this again. And I go one, two, three, get rid of that, bring in Beppo here. End the turn. So we know they got Absalom in here, which is pretty much that. I assume they have to have another way to cost remove something if they're playing Great Eruption, the trigger of Great Eruption. And so we'll see. I unfortunately can't really block anything, so they could pop, get rid of two things here, which is where uh, it becomes a little bit problematic, but see how it goes. Because if they drop the eight cost, they could only, yeah, they can't do anything, really, unless the, the only Robert, they could, I mean, they bring in Robert off of him, but they only could do that. Okay, if they're only attacking five on five, so they're going to drop that, we will make the play to keep a... Uh, the control here is yeah they drop that they can bring in Absalom and then the the Suru so they can get rid of one thing but luckily for us they can then bottom deck the Absalom and then if they don't have another one we're chilling because uh, I oh, never mind they bring in Robert okay interesting I mean I guess that makes sense is uh bring in Robert so they can then have Absalom is if we again if we bottom deck that right away they can't bring in Robert from anything uh but they're at two I have four and we have Zoro so I may make a uh, may make the Zoro play as well I guess so we'll attack them five and five assuming they meant to play this the other way around so I'm just gonna do like a play around that out of like uh, sort of like the respect because I assume they would have played this active and this rested versus uh, the other way around and so we'll attack them five on five which they do that all right so here is the Gordon play onto this and then we'll go the one two three get rid of that bring in Zoro here and then we'll hit them for the seven and see all right they can't block out of it bang bang Zoro Barrage finish. We'll take that. And yeah, okay, I guess I had another great eruption, so that's why they went uh, pretty eager with the the trigger on the one trying to get our hand down. But yeah, we got what we needed. And I mean, that was an interesting one. Straight up just mirror turns, getting two Ains off the life. We're gonna see what the uh, 
these other two were because that would have been interesting as well and then like them doing the same thing too was kind of funny but yeah just i mean weird one because again with that and just able to outpace them as again against uh moria same as sakazuki i feel like uh you just get that turn where they can't remove your stuff like can't cost remove and i think it just it just gives you the edge because again they are more than likely kind of bricked because of a lot of the cards again all their events rob hina the like everything else there's a decent chance of them being bricked up so being able to just like go for it you have a good shot as long as they can't like keep you down is like the the main thing so yeah if you're able to just get that one turn to uh be able to put a, out enough bodies to beat them you're good and uh yeah luckily we were able to do that and avoiding the absalom is big it's like kind of tough though because you just got to be active and try to pay attention to what goes into their trash because uh the deck it's very very easy i feel like to take them out if they don't get multiple absaloms like if they like the toughest thing is if they get that Sindri in the beginning, they drop Sindri and Sindri helps them out with the, the Thriller Bart characters. That's kind of like the, it can go either ways because Sindri can also cost them the match too straight up if it trashes like a bunch of uh, their other characters that they they may need or like stuff like Great Eruption and stuff like that. So that's kind of the back and forth with, with that. But uh, yeah, mainly again, Absalom. If they only see one, I feel like you're great into being able to like bottom deck this and then they have to then draw or like get off the ability into the trash or another one. And if you're able to duck the Absaloms, you should be good. I feel like, especially again, same thing, a you know, removal deck, you just get in that turn where they can't remove because we're, again, we're pumping out two bodies a turn basically. And if we get that turn where they're not able to do that, then you're gonna body slam them. But that's kind of like the difficulties though. But when I, the tough ones against Moria that uh, again is pretty much what I was like alluding to earlier is when they're able to get like the two and then with the leader, just be able to attack like 7K plus and then still summon out someone for the two. Cause again, with their ability, they get to summon the four cost for, for just two and being able for them to be able to attack basically for three. So for three Don, they're saving one, but they're attacking minimum six with their leader which is very tough now again especially with the the combo with like perona and stuff like having to trash a card and then them being a, able to attack with a bunch is pretty annoying as well but yeah luckily i don't know the game was just like <laughs> do the same thing <laughs> the first two turns so we'll take it Alrighty, so uh, here we go with some moria action again so we'll see what we can do in this one and yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any ramp, so that's where putting us in a bit of a tough little spot here, which is uh, we don't have any ramp or power reduction, <laughs> so not ideal. And so we'll see what uh, if we make our way out of this one. We at least have, I mean, if we need to get to it, we have at least Queen and Ray. So they drop the Sindri, and luckily, the only one they have is Hog back in there, so that's okay. So we'll attack them eight on five here. Get them down one. See what else they have in their hand. So they're gonna attack seven. And then either bring Hog back or something else in there. Okay, they're gonna bring Perona. Alright, well, that kinda sucks. Um Well, I guess we gotta trash that. Alright, we get Beppo, which is decent. But again, problem is I don't have any cost reduction, so that's uh where uh, the issue is and so i'm gonna have to drop queen here i think unless we drop kid so where are things at so they're at four they'll be at six if i drop kid go down three get one back there and so i could go kid into it hmm i guess that works i think right if i drop kid into Beppo, and so I'd go three to four, and they're at four, so then I could drop Ray. I think that's a decent little move there. So yeah, let's drop Kid. We'll go one, two, three. I guess the uh, yeah I messed this up though. I could have attacked them. I guess it wouldn't have mattered because they use a two K. So kind of fine, but a little goof, 
goofing the gaff out of me there. But see how it goes. So they can bring in... Alright, well, yeah, there's the Ice Age. So they can bring in Absalom here. With, uh, off that. The KO Kid. And then they're attacking us for seven. So we'll take that. Alright, seven on five. Okay, we get Gordon, which is kind of big. And then attacking a six on five. Um, I'm going to make the play here to block out just because we have Ray to be able to drop. And I have, uh, we have Gordon and Max, so that's pretty cool. So since I'm at six, they're at six, let's throw down Ray, see what we get. All right, cool. We get a Law and a Yanji, so it leaves us two. Um, problem is... Well, we have to get rid of Absalom, and then attack this, I guess, and we'll see what uh, transpires there. So yeah, get rid of this. I could... I don't have any other ramp. So I guess we ought to bring in our other Ray, which is, uh, I mean, a bit of an issue, but it is what it is. So, let's attack that, six and five. Oh, I messed this up. <laughs> Why do I attack with him first? Whoops. Alright. I am faded in this game. But, alright, luckily we get rid of that though, which is fine there. We'll attack them again, 5 on 5. So we get the hit there, which is pretty cool. Let's throw down Max here, onto that. And then we'll go 1, 2, 3, do that into uh, Ray again to get two more cards. Alright, cool. So we got the boys there. So we got our ramp. And if they bring anything else, alright, they're dropping... Alright, I mean, we're kind of okay with that, because... They don't have, uh, yeah, they don't have any, like, removal, so we're chilling. So they're attacking me. Um, no, we'll use Yanji, block that. Alright, so there we go. Okay, we get a Zoro. Alright. Um, how do I go about this then? I have Gordon, so we could remove this. And then bring in the boys. It's for three, one, leaves me that to blast them down. I feel like that's the best move. Okay, so I do have this for any other shenanigans that they may bring. So we'll do that there. Um, let's drop the Zoro here. And then we'll go one, two, three, get rid of that. Bring in the boys there to get us back to the one. And since uh, four and eight, let's attack them five on five. I'm just going to launch a bunch of attacks here and try to get them out of... Again, if we get them out of everything in hand, that's pretty solid too. So there's the Absalom. Alright, another Absalom. And then we'll finish with attacking them 6 and 5. Alright, so we get them out of 2 cards in hand. All they can br they could potentially cost remove, but it depends on what they also have in their hand here. Again, we're going to lose something to this guy um if they only attack for six I'll make the play here because we have Zoro for a Zoro barrage finisher for the next turn and yeah we'll see uh, we'll see I don't know hitting the back-to-back -back raise <laughs> they're pretty massive and uh, allowing us to do some stuff there give us give us the option again not the most ideal little start but a uh, big comeback they're attacking me seven on five. Okay. I mean, <laughs> this is a pretty interesting. Eight on five. All right. No, we'll go uh, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I guess they they don't really have anything, yeah. <laughs> well, that's great great news for us. Um. Well, they have this there. I could just pop everything on their field we could go that route and just put him in the stranglehold and then uh, go for it oh or they're gonna quit all right <laughs> that's uh wouldn't have mattered which option we we did there because they, they had the two and the one so if i attacked them uh directly we would have pulled out but yeah you know things working out there with the i don't know the rng on our side with the the Moria with the the trashing and stuff going well I think and again Ray overall I don't really think it matters what build you use now with the uh, with the four cost Ray 
and then she just like I don't know, fixes everything. Like <laughs> straight straight up. You get more than one, you're looking good. Same with Zoros. Like we were pretty good there. We uh drew into our like uh, power reducers and stuff there. But yeah, it's I don't know, Ray is just so helpful now because uh I don't just being able to use like Ray and even if we didn't draw the rays, we had the queen, so we would have had a shot there. But this deck, I don't know, it's, it's not it's not all the way there until we get Kitten Killer. Uh, but it's it feels right there, because again, we just have the pieces we need to now be able to bring yourself back. Because I feel like in the, the previous set, in like OP05, when you don't get like the opening hand you need, we didn't have anything to bring us back, you know? And now that uh, we have so many options, fix the draw ability and then now we have more just like uh, of uh, with the addition of max as well more options instead of just needing to only having the four Gordons like having like six feels great and yeah it's the deck just feels a lot better to me it's still uh, I don't know, a little little bit closer again once we get kid and killer then we're putting everybody in the blender and I can't wait until that it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be super super cool but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.